Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi Phone Builder documentation. In this video, we're going to be looking at the features you'll find under the Extra Settings tab in the Divi Phone Builder. We won't be getting into too much detail here, so definitely check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com where you'll find loads of videos and support articles with more in-depth information on how to use the Divi Phone Builder and all of its features. And don't worry if you get stuck. Just submit a support ticket and our awesome support team will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, if you're ready, let's go. Okay, so let's take a look at the extra settings or features, whichever you prefer to call it. All you need to do is be in the back end of a Divi page or wherever you have a Divi Form Builder module. I'm going to open the settings of my module here and then when I scroll down, we see the extra tab underneath the content section of the module. If I expand that, we'll see three features here. We've got save entries to database, enable Bloom subscription, or enable select two for your select dropdown boxes. Now these are the features we have here currently, but we'll be expanding these features in the future. So for now, we're gonna look at what's here today. Okay, so let's take a look at saving form submissions to the database. I'm going to open up my form settings again by clicking here. I will scroll down and expand extra, and then I'll switch the save entries to database option from no to yes. That is really all you do. So let me save that, then open up the page, and then here on the front end, I've got my form, which I'll refresh really quick. I'll say my name is Roby, and then I'll just put test at test.com for my email. Then I have the signature field here too, I'm terrible at signing on my mouse pad, but here you go. Okay, you'll see I have my custom success message configured here, another unique feature of the Divi Form Builder. Now on the back end of the site, we'll check out what happened. Okay, so now on the back end of the site, here we can go view the submission entries to the database. All you need to do is come over and hover over Divi Engine here, and then you click on Divi Form Entries. After clicking, we can see my form names along with the location, which is the page that I have here, which is the Divi Form Builder Extra Features page. So I can go ahead and click on that title, and then you'll see my submission right here. You'll see my name, you'll see that email, and you'll see that gorgeous signature right there. So that is Divi Form Submission saved to the database in the Divi Form Builder. Now another great feature of the Divi Form Builder that you'll find underneath that extra tab is full Bloom integration. Now if you're already using Bloom, that is great news because now you can create highly complex and customizable forms that will subscribe users to your mailing lists and opt them in into whatever mail provider you're using like MailChimp or SendGrid. I mean, you guys know the loads of options that are out there for transactional email. So let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to integrate Bloom into the Divi form builder. Now, we're gonna be starting here on the back end of the site, but we're gonna assume that you've already got the Bloom plugin installed and configured. So I've got my Bloom plugin here in the left-hand column. I've already set up my email account through MailChimp. So let's see how I connect that to my Divi Form Builder form. I'm going to open up the settings for the form here. And again, I'm gonna scroll down to extra. I'll expand this. And because I'm on the contact form type, you'll see that I have my save entries to database options still available. I also have Bloom and Select2 available. It's actually quite a cool feature of the form builder that only the relevant functions will display depending on the type of form that you're using. So for example, let me just quickly show you if I change this type to user registration, for example. And I come down to extra, Save to database is gone because it doesn't really make sense to save that type of submission to the database. So let me just quickly change this back to a contact form. There we go. And now back to extra, I'm going to enable the Bloom subscription right here. Now because I've already got it set up, I can just go ahead and select my subscription email list here. And then I can pick anything I want to say within the checkbox label. We'll say, yeah, I love it. And that's that. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that. Now also, all the style settings for this can be adjusted in the design tab. So definitely, if you're looking to stylize that a little bit more, that's where you're gonna go ahead and do that. 
But anyway, so let me save this update and then I'm going to go back to the front end of the site. I'm going to refresh my page and type in my name and my email test at test.com. Check the box and hit enter. Again, my custom layout success message pops up and as a side note, this is also a really good spot where you can communicate relevant information to your users. Anyway, my users are now subscribed to my mailing list and you have just grown your audience. So Bloom integration is super easy in the Divi form builder and this is how you use it. Okay, now as I mentioned before, our Divi form builder plugin includes full select to integration. Now, if you're not familiar with Select2, it's a JavaScript library that allows you to take simple select boxes like this one right here and turn them into really fancy ones with different functionality and styling options along with search features. So if I wanted to select California, I just start typing it like this. There it is and now I can just click it. It's a great feature. So let me show you how we use it in the Divi Form Builder plugin. I'll just click here right into the back end of the site again on one of the form pages that I created earlier. I'm going to open up the settings for the form builder plugin. I'm going to scroll all the way down. Now here's one important detail actually. I'm going to expand my extra tab here, but to utilize select two so that it loads the JavaScript that creates that awesome select options and search functionality, you need to enable it here on the actual Divi form builder module. Then you need to go here and I have this favorite color option. So on the front end, this is what it currently looks like. If I hop back here, you need to enable it on the actual select field that you have where you want the select two options enabled. So you just scroll down in the field, you go here to layout options, and right here where it says enable select two, and it even reminds you that you have to enable this on the module itself also, hit that yes button. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to save it again and I'm going to update my form. So again here on the front end, I have the basic select box. I'm going to hit that refresh page button and now you see it instantly changed. And if I want it red, I just type red and it pops up. So you can see how this is a very useful tool when you're working with very long lists of select options. Maybe it's cities, maybe it's countries. In this example, we used colors. It's just a really great way to give the user a nicer experience as they work their way through your forms. So this is select to integration. And again, remember you have to enable it here on both the module itself and the field. If you don't do that, well actually let me show you. Let's switch that off. I'm gonna go back, I'm going to update. I'll go ahead and refresh the front end. And then you see it pops back to the old way of displaying that select box. So definitely make sure you enable it on both. So there you go, that's select two. And so with that folks, we've come to the end of this extra settings or features tab that you'll find in the Divi form builder along with the different options you find listed here in this video. Now, if this video did not cover exactly what you were looking for in regards to the Divi form builder or any of our plugins, definitely check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com for more videos and in-depth support articles on how to utilize the form builder to its maximum. But don't worry if you get stuck, definitely just submit a support ticket and one of our amazing support staff will be in touch with you to help you resolve your issue. So with that guys, that was it from me, Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.